Fidgets is excited to announce a major upgrade to our core Vint protocol. We refer to this as second generation Vint. In this video, we'll take a look at the new second generation features. These include increased communication speeds, longer fidget cables, and better immunity to electrical noise. Additionally, we'll show you how to identify second generation systems. Let's start with reviewing the upgrades to Vint. Second generation devices can now communicate at significantly faster speeds. This is due to new hardware and software upgrades surrounding the Vint communication protocol. Data rates can now exceed 1000 Hz. There's also the added benefit of reducing latency when sending commands to devices. Upgrades to Vint now allow all second generation devices to extend significantly farther from a Vint hub, up to 50 meters in many situations. This is achieved by using a standard three wire fidget cable. No shielding is required. Data rates and power consumption can impact your maximum cable length. We have a calculator available to help you design your Vint systems. Second generation Vint devices now adhere to a more rigorous industrial immunity standard. We continue to certify to commercial standards for emissions, which means you get the best of both worlds. Much lower allowable emissions required for commercial and residential and the increased ruggedness of industrial immunity. To summarize the improvements, let's review this table comparing first generation Vint with second generation Vint. As we can see, first generation Vint was limited to a maximum data rate of 50 Hertz. New second generation Vint devices can now have data rates exceeding 1000 Hertz. New devices will also benefit from reduced latency, which is especially useful in control applications. First generation Vint devices could only extend up to five meters away from a Vint hub. Now devices can extend up to 50 meters away. Finally, immunity has improved to industrial standards versus commercial on the first generation devices. This will help you create strong, stable systems with minimal effort. Next, we'll show you how to identify a second generation system. Look for the shield icon on the enclosure. Here, we can see a shield icon on the new Vintub fidget. Similarly, we can see a shield icon on a new humidity fidget. Previous designs have no shield. In order to have a second generation Vint system, both the Vint hub and the Vint device must have a shield. For example, on the left hand side, both the Vint hub and the Vint device have a shield, which indicates a second generation system. On the right side, the Vint hub has a shield, but the fidget sensor does not have a shield, meaning it's a first generation system. Because second generation Vint is backwards compatible, this system will still function. However, it won't have any of the second generation benefits we listed previously. In this situation, we have a shield present on the fidget sensor, but no shield present on the Vint hub. This means it's a first generation system. Finally, this system has no shield on the Vint hub and no shield on the Vint sensor, giving a clear indication that it's first generation. Another identifier that's present on second generation Vint hubs is the megabit icon. This icon indicates that the hub ports are capable of supporting Vint protocol speeds of up to one megabit per second. Here, the hub one has the megabit icon on ports zero, one, and two, indicating that they're high speed ports. Some second generation Vint devices take advantage of these high speed ports, which result in faster data rates and reduced latency. You can also use the fidget control panel on Windows to help you identify second generation functionality. The control panel will indicate which ports and devices are capable of high speed communication. Here, we can see ports 0, 1, and 2 are colored red and also labeled high speed. We can also see the fidget spatial device colored red. This indicates that it's a high speed device. For more information, check out our fidget cable length guide and our Vint communication speed guide. Both guides have videos and more in-depth information about the topics presented today. Thanks for watching.